Well, hey again, everyone. This is Bob from Hot Rock Central, and in today's video, I'm going to show one of these 48 volt battery equalizers for uh, lead acid batteries that I just got in. Now, uh, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the voltages on uh, a set of four here, and then I'll get them hooked up, and we'll come back later on and see if there's any difference in uh, in the voltages on the batteries. See if this thing does anything. Um, one thing I got to say about this is uh, the box is uh, feels it feels pretty beefy, like there's something in there. So it's not just a empty hollow box that doesn't do nothing. Apparently there is something in there, and we'll find out if it, there what's in there will do anything. So uh, first off, what I'm gonna do is uh, I've already tested the voltages. I've got them wrote down there, as you can see on the paper, and I'm just gonna go through them and show you show them to you, just so uh, you can see for yourself what I got here. Now for battery number one, 14.5, just like I got wrote down. Battery number two, 14.7, just like I got wrote down. Battery number three, 15.9, just like I got wrote down. And this one here is really low at 12.2. Uh, now this this battery bank is, is pretty near about fully charged. So um, this one here probably has a weak cell in it and this uh, battery equalizer what it can do for a battery with a weak cell is questionable but we'll find out so anyways I'm gonna get this all hooked up and uh, we'll come back later uh, uh, in the video and uh, uh, retest it again and see what happened so stay tuned we'll be right back well guys I'm a little bit uh, I'm back a little bit earlier than I expected to be uh, I just got this thing hooked up and I got a real uh, interesting surprise um, watch this 14.1 volts 14.1 volts 14.5 that's quite a bit of difference than uh, what we started out with and that's only been hooked up for a couple of minutes so uh, actually it looks pretty promising that this thing will actually do what what it says it'll do so anyways we'll let it, that run for a while and uh, then I'll disconnect it and see if the uh, batteries will actually uh, with without it connected uh, show an equalized uh, set of batteries so um, again stay tuned and we'll be back to see that Okay, I'm back. It's the next day now, and it's early in the morning. I've had this uh, uh, sitting on here overnight, and what I did is uh, I disconnected uh, this, this battery equalizer here and checked the cells again, and just to see if it was maintaining it with it hooked up or without it hooked up, and uh, it, even without it hooked up, the, the battery voltage was the same uh, with or without it, so... So it's holding the uh, the battery voltage even across all the batteries, and uh, uh, I also uh, took my amp probe here, and I wanted to check and see uh, off of each leg whether or not uh, uh, the low battery was drawing anything off off of the uh, stronger batteries, and uh, apparently uh, they all equalized out, and uh, there was no draw off of one battery into another. So. That's a good sign there. So I'm really impressed with this thing. And uh, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, I got another one set up over there on another set of batteries that had one cell that was uh, uh, weak compared to one that was real strong. And uh, that did the same thing. So uh, uh, I'm impressed enough with these things that uh, I'm actually going to order uh, four more and do my entire battery cabinet here. So. Um, so there's a good report on this, uh, they call it the Power Mister Battery Equalizer. And uh, they make it in different models for 24 volts uh, and for this one for 48 volts. So you've got a choice of uh, uh, what models you want to get for this thing. And of course, 24 volt models are cheaper if, uh, if that's what you're set up with. So anyways, uh, that's my report on this product, and I uh, hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.